Hi everyone, this is Evie, and tonight I'd like to share some of the projects that I've been working on. They're actually embellishments, and they're inspired by the folk colors, and um, they're part of some embellishments that I have to create for a swap that I'm involved in at Nothing But Crafts, the Facebook group, and my swap partner is Irene, who is Lucia Caso here on YouTube. And I've been working on a whole bunch of different um, embellishments for this swap. And I'd just like to share with you some of them before um, I start deciding which types of embellishments I want to work more of. Um, so just let me, let me share with you with things, the things that I've been able to make since yesterday. I made this chunky charm, which is actually my second chunky charm that I've made. But this is like... It's a huge pearl that I've had in my stash for a while. And what I did was that I added, to the bottom of it, I added this piece of jewelry. It's a copper leaf, like it's like a skeleton leaf. I love, 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 love that leaf. Then I just add a little bow with fibers at the bottom, some end caps at the top and at the bottom of the pearl. And then this beautiful bead that I've had in my stash for a while. And then I added this garment pin to the top so that it can be hooked and the whole thing was done with um, some stainless steel wire because I could not find I don't even know if I have head pins so I did that whole thing with wire so that was my and also my nose pliers are all rusty so that was really upsetting <laughs> so I made those I made this little bottle, it's a crystal bottle, it's the first time I alter a crystal bottle. I've had them in my stash for a while, so I took it out, filled it up with a whole bunch of um, fall colors using glitter and micro beads and different size beads. See, there's seed beads, there's bugle beads, there's all types of beads in the fall colors. And there's even sequins and there's a gold pearl somewhere there. So if you shake it around, you find all different colors and textures and fun things inside. And then I just added this fiber knot here with some... It's fiber and a stretchy brown ribbon that I love. So that's another embellishment. Then I created some stick pins. And for this one, the top of that pearl is covered with like an eggplant glitter. There's uh, some more of that stretchy brown organza ribbon in the center. And then all that is inserted into an acrylic flower. And then there's lace for the flower at the bottom. And then I use some glass pearls and a regular plastic ivory pearl that I've had in my stash for a while. So that's what this pin looks like. I really like it. I don't know if... Let me know what you guys think about that, because it's, it's the first time I try that. And for that acrylic flower, what I used was um, these acrylic beads, I mean flowers that I've had in my stash, and I really love them. Every time I find them, I buy more. But they come with a pearl and that white um, wire. So what I did was I took off the pearl center, and I just used the acrylic flower for it. That's how I made... <clears throat> that little flower center and then I made one more stick pin and it looks like this so it's an end cap for beading there's a pearl and then there's two glass pearls at the bottom now for the top what I did to that pearl is that I covered it with the Adirondack um, what do you call those what do I always forget um, it's the metallic alcohol inks so I dipped it into that and I love how it looks it's like a satiny finish to it really like how that looks so that's how I made that pin then I created this key I altered it's actually a chipboard key die cut that was sent to me by Evelyn a while ago and I've been hoarding it so I decided to take it out and play with it so I covered that chipboard with glossy accents 
not glossy accents, um, clear gesso. And then I cover it another layer of um, metallic copper, acrylic paint. Then once that was dried, I did some stamping with stays on of, um, it's a lace pattern and then some like skeleton leaves. So that's what's creating that pattern in the bottom of it, like all that background. To give it more texture, I added another acrylic and this one's a matte ivory. And then I added some pearls in different sizes. They're all brown, different tones of brown. So the back of it is all copper, so it can be placed flat on any type of project, but the top is all embellished and like layered in different textures and things. Okay, so after that, <laughs> I also altered my first metal key that I've been hoarding in my vault of keys of that my friends have so generously shared with me. So this was a white key and I covered that with an ivory, same color of the ivory matte acrylic paint. And then I added some, some stretchy ribbons and uh, lace to the top. Added that beautiful acrylic flower that I love. It's like a salmon color. I really like those flowers. And then I twisted or I don't know. Yeah, I put um, some chain. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a copper chain. There you can see it better. So that's going all the way around. And then I added those little teeny tiny pearls that actually come. They're those blingy stickers that you find at the stores. And these were sent to me, I think by, it was Michi. And she sent them to me a while ago. I've also been hoarding them, took them out, um, cut those little pearls out and added them with glossy accents. Okay, so are you ready for more? <laughs> After that, I made a flower, but I'll share that with you last because it's not finished and I want to ask you a question about that. But I also made some tags and these were done last night and tonight. So this is a chipboard tag cut with a C6 die cut. I think it's a Tim Holtz, but it comes with different shape tags. And this is like the largest one that in that set. And what I did was I covered the chipboard with gel medium. And then I added this top layer, which is actually one of the swatches of fabric that um, I was able to get last year before the school year ended. Someone donated these to me, and they're in different patterns. They're actually upholstery um, catalogs that were discontinued, and someone super generously shared those with me, and I've been sharing them with friends. But it's not this is not the same fabric that I use, but just to show you that they come like that. And for those of you that I've shared them with, this is what I love using them for. I've used them for backgrounds and other altered um, projects. But look at how they look when you add that to the top of a tag. Look at the texture that you get. So these are all fall colors. And what I did was I added some, this trim that was sent to me by one of my friends in one of the swaps. I think, I think this was sent to me by Amanda in my survival kit, but I have to check because I'm, I'm not sure. But whoever sent it to me, I loved it, hoarded it for a while, and finally took it out to use it on this. These blingy fall leaves were sent to me last year by some friends, and I've been saving them too, and finally took them out to use them. Then there's a little paper flower here. It was white, and I altered that using these um, shimmers. And I used this one, which is called Hot Fudge. And that's the color of it. Added some little spritz of this mango madness. Hardly shows because then I went over all of that with this Simply Sheer by Plain. It's a Plain Jane by Tattered Angels. Is that the name? Yeah, Tattered Angels. Simply Sheer and the color of this one is rich 
rich brown and super super dark and it covers really well and I wanted it really dark because I wanted it to stick out from that background and all those other colors so then I added some flat pearls that are also from the set um, of bling that I showed you before and this is really not focusing well added some little metal beads to the sides of that flower and then I made this little bunch of it's it's tool that I folded a couple times it's an orange tool and then I used some gross grain ribbon and some satin ribbon in brown and that's what this looks like for the back of it I just added a paper from one of the my paper stacks that I've hoarded and that's actually from this paper stack it's called basic craft paper pad and it's by basic ray and I think I bought this by the sticker I can tell you I bought it at Joann's a while ago but I love the paper in that pad and finally got to use one and then I just added um, some distress ink in vintage photo to the edge of the tag and that's what that tag looks like and then I created this one I finished this one tonight I started it yesterday last night I mean but I finished it today and I really love this one too I like I like really like those tags this one is also another fabric another upholstery swatch but it's more ornate and I really like the colors on it and the pattern and I just went to town adding embellishments to this so same way of applying it some gel medium and then my fabric on top and I added some lace to the bottom and a little trim and um, then I added one of the brown acrylic flowers that I've had in my stash I added a little flat back pearl to the center of it a doily from the paper bag lady a skeleton leaf that was shared with me and I think it was Olga that sent it to me a while ago I've been hoarding those like crazy because I've never been able to get any more and um, I added some little strings of strands of tiny pearls and there's gold beads gold pearl beads and another of those filigree beautiful copper from the jewelry piece that I took apart there's some um, aluminum flowers and copper and a vintage button that a friend sent to me for my I have a little different little bottles of buttons with all the buttons that I've been I've been receiving and then I added some more of the copper chain here and a little cameo that was also sent to me by a friend I think this was Laura's but I'm not sure I'm sorry if I'm I've had them in my stash I've been hoarding them for so long that I don't I don't remember everything and I took so many things out to work on this there's a, another one of those doilies by the paper bag lady this trim up here is it was sent to me by Amanda um, recently and then this little stretch ivory ribbon was added to that I think that's about it at the front and then when you turn around I don't want to ruin that skeleton leaf when you turn it around there's paper on the back also and some of that distress ink and it's still not fully dry can you see my fingers so and that paper is from let me see like it's from this paper stack from the Tim Holtz Craft Core Nostalgic Collection and I used that um, rusty brown color and then lastly I don't know if I shared with these these with you but I made these in June and I've been saving them in my stash um, Eden if you're watching let me know if you like these type of flowers because I love making them these are the last three that I have in, in like the fall colors but I can certainly make more for you but these are all paper flowers that I layer up this is one this is another one and this is made up of different pre-printed and like already made flowers that I have in a big bottle and I just took a whole bunch of them and mixed it mixed layers of them together and then these center ones I punched out and I added a little flat back pearl it's a teeny tiny one I don't know if it's not really focusing but there's that and then there's the tiny little one here and this is like a like a burgundy color with like a beigey and burgundy paper print this is a paper flower this I made fully 
And the last flower is this one. And this is the question that I have for you guys. I made this one out of laces, right? I did lace. This little center crochet flower was sent to me by Sharon. I bought it from her, one of the two, but it's made by Sharon. And um, she's Suralia here on YouTube. I added one of the ring findings. I took the back of it off and I used that as a center. And then I have a little paper to hold all those 